Welcome to the three-part connection of one. And the reason why I call it connection is because I'm connecting you to your wrestling news worldwide. And uh, this is going to be about your Monday Night Raw and your Raw version of your Superstars Internet portion that will air Thursday of this week. And off we go into the wild blue yonder of the wrestling world. WWE Intercontinental Champion Ezekiel Jackson reportedly had trouble getting into the arena before the SmackDown live taping on uh, the, the over the weekend. Well, it wasn't the taping. It was just a SmackDown live event. In White Plains, New York event this past weekend, apparently was denied entry by the arena security because they did not recognize him as one of the WWE superstars who was also an African-American champion. After pleading his case and still not allowed in, he immediately pulled out his cell phone and, and called a w, one of the WWE agents, who then came down and was let in the building. Alex Riley commented on, on his m match over the weekend, how so, for the Intercontinental Ch Championship belt against Dolph Ziggler. You see, uh, he said he had a good match with Dolph. So close to the U.S. title tomorrow, tomorrow night, maybe, Dolph. Better be ready for me to say it to your face. SummerSlam is near and a right wants some gold. And since you happen to have it, that title is about time that you get dismissed. Sin Cara has been removed from the SummerSlam poster. So obviously that's two months away. So his 30-day uh, suspension may be even longer. Our truth has been has been, has replaced him on the poster. Well, other sites say uh, other site uh, com uh, comments from readers state that Sankara was uh, was removed. But our truth was already on the poster. Well, just go to WWE.com and find out for yourself. Because it does not matter, neither one of them are going to win anyways. And speaking of uh, SummerSlam, uh, our, uh, is it? Dwayne Rock Johnson said he will meet John Cena at SummerSlam on his Twitter account. Reigning Florida, cha uh, Florida Heavyweight Champion Bo returned to work a dark match at tonight's Raw taping in Hampton, Virginia, and he defeated Primo. I will give the details later on. In the match on how, how it went down. <coughs> and for those that don't know, Rotunda is the son of uh, Michael Rotunda, aka IRS or Erwin R. Scheister, and brother of the Raw superstar Husky Harris. He has been competing in Florida Champions Wrestling since December 2008. Kane is featured on the cover of the September 2011 issue of WWE Magazine. And WWE.com has posted a feature counting down the top 25 moments of The Undertaker's career. Could be a hint of his actual retirement. The synopsis reads, From The Undertaker's fiery rivalry with his brother Kane to his brutal Hell in a Cell bouts with sick mankind, WWE.com digs up the Phenom's top 25 gravest moments. Presented by Final Destination 5 in 3D and, and 2D theaters, August 12th. Matches taped for tonight in Hampton, Virginia for this week's episode of Superstars were as follows. Jack Swagger versus Alex Riley, David Otonga, and my, Michael McGillicuddy defending their tag titles against Santina Morella and Chris Masters. <coughs> Are they breaking up the tag team of Santino and Vladimir? It's unknown at the present time. Tyler Rex also competed in his first match since being drafted to Raw at Friday night's Raw Live event in Springfield, Massachusetts. He defeated Primo in a singles match. Pat Patterson was backstage at last night's TV tapings, or uh, the television, last week's TV tapings. The 70-year-old Hall of Famer continues to work part-time behind the scenes. In the latest episode of The Legends of Wrestling, Kevin Nash joined Jim Ross, Michael Hayes, J.J. Dillon, and Mean Gene Oakland for a no-holds-barred discussion about the New World Order. <coughs> for more info on that, go to their 
Look at their videos. Former WWE NXT Diva Naomi Knight acted as a guest host for last night's Raw Live event in Upper Mar Marlboro, Maryland. WWE camera crew is, pre uh, is preparing with Stone Cold today or over the weekend at his, B his, at his B BSR Ranch and will begin filming his new loaded WWE DVD tomorrow and Wednesday. And an internet update on John Cena and Alberto Del Rio from this weekend's live events. WWE did an angle where Del Rio put his money in a bank briefcase on the line while Cena would have to go to the SmackDown if he lost. Last night's show in Maryland saw the match in a DQ after the Miz and other Raw heels attacked Cena. This brought out the baby faces and Raw stars to make the save for Cena. Regarding the show in Marvel last night, Cena wrote the following odd tweet. C Nation, I was just told by them not to tweet about the Upper Marvel event tonight. Don't know why. Ultimately, I thought it was I thought it was great. The latest on Ring of Honor stars, Chris Hero, Hero and Claudio Castagnoli, coming to WWE is that they will be bypassing developmental and coming straight to the main roster. Unknown whether it's going to be Raw or SmackDown. Well, if they come in as a tag team, it doesn't matter where they go. WWE's Greatest Superstars of the 21st Century is officially released on DVD and Blu-ray today. WWE Shop's website is selling the DVD package with Shawn Michaels' t-shirt. Brock Lesnar's profile from the, from the DVD is stated on YouTube. Dot com slash embed slash HSL PB uh, PV nine L Y X nine zero. Go to that that link, or I can post it tomorrow on my SmackDown videos as well. Paul Bearer announced on Twitter that, for, that former WWE referee Dave Hebner is un, has or, or underwent heart surgery injury this morning. Confirming an online rumor, Dwayne Rock Johnson revealed this morning on Twitter that he will be meeting John Cena at Survivor Series. Well, it was announced earlier, it was SummerSlam. He wrote, Cena fans, please stop tweeting, tweeting me to stop being mean to John. If you think I'm mean now, just wait till Survivor Series in New York. Okay, well, I guess it's Survivor Series instead. 25th Annual Survivor Series takes place Sunday, November 20th at Madison Square Gardens in New York City. House of the Rising Sun with former WWE star, superstar Batista is now available in stores on Redbox and on Netflix. So go to your retailers to buy the, buy the straight to DVD movie. At WWE Raw event over the weekend, Dolph Ziggler ended up taking finishing moves from most of the Raw baby faces, including Beth Phoenix, <coughs> John Cena, Evan Bourne, and Kofi Kingston. Interesting part, because he also took a finisher, or some uh, a, a finisher of the uh, Ultimate Warrior, but it was not the real Ultimate Warrior, as Zack Ryder was impersonating him, and wearing his gear, with the, it was a Zack Ryder gear, added with a tight... Uh, Castles. And I'll show that video again uh, as well tomorrow as well. And he did the, the a big splash off, off a springboarded splash off the second rope, I believe. And if you want to see it, go to YouTube and search for it. Okay. Chris Benoit, uh, Benoit's father, Mike Benoit, told Irv Mooknick at ConcussionInc.net that after following the NFL concussion lawsuit that is going on, he is considering organizing a class action lawsuit against the WWE. Did I uh, state that uh, there should be a lawsuit several months back? Now it's coming to my prediction. WWE officials have discussed bringing former NXT rookie Percy Watson up to the main Raw, Raw roster for a feud, the upcoming feud with R-Truth. 
during the summer. Well, Percy has been working WWE live events, matches for months now, and officials have taken note of his improvements. <clears throat> WWE is looking to experiment with getting some of their top superstars involved in network TV shows later this year, and the feeling is that they've been enti entirely they haven't been entirely successful with tur turning them into movie stars. So TV might work better. Well, not when they're on the internet and only an hour long. Rey Mysterio is said to be thrilled about his new feud with R-Truth coming up on Raw. So there's a, a should be a spoiler or, or past spoiler. Rey specifically requested a feud with Truth when he was drafted to Monday nights and was told he would get it once Truth's feud with John Morrison was over. Well, it's not over yet because Morrison also returned on Raw, as you will hear later on in, the, in my report. Since Morrison got injured, the Truth Ray view was done earlier than planned. For what it's worth, a source close to CM Punk says WWE made him a new contract offer last week. And spoiler is, he made his appearance at the end of Raw tonight. Details later. WWE trying to move away from the normal brand separation has to do with the dropping of Black and Rights pay-per-view and the dismissal of the SmackDown vs. Raw video game franchise and the introduction of WWE 12. Well, I've been talking to a, uh, quite a few wrestlers on the, the WWE 12 game on their, uh, I would say, uh, not Twitter accounts, but Facebook. And they're stating it is a continuation of the SmackDown game. I said, I, I argue back and forth with them, but arguing is not going to do anything. Because proof is in the pudding. Just when you rent or buy the game, you're wasting your money. You'll see that when you buy it. WWE is looking to feature some of their international recap programming. Like this week in WWE, the WWE Experience. WWE Vintage Collection, which they are still going with, WWE Afterburn, and WWE Bottom Line on the planned WWE Cable Network that's being worked on, making them available to everyone. Well, most of these programs are overseas only right now. Jerry the King Lawler appeared on yesterday's radio broadcast of the Gwinnett Braves and called an inning alongside former WWE announcer Tony Schiavone, the radio voice of the Triple-A affiliate of the Atlanta Braves. Fans, if you want to keep up with Tony Schiavone on Twitter, you can uh, con uh, add him on your Twitter account, twitter.com slash Tony Schiavone 24. He has answered wrestling-related questions as well as other, and you can go, go to him for, for proof. Variety reports today that Shane McMahon's wife, Marissa McMahon, is financing a new movie that documents infamous crime couple Bonnie and Clyde titled Go Down Together, the, un the true untold story of Bonnie and Clyde, unquote. The movie Trap Project will see the McMahon family work together as Vince McMahon is paying for the film's option and development. No word yet on, on if this means that WWE Studios is involved, but they weren't named in the article. WWE has announced that Kane will be out of action for at least three months. WWE website claims that Kane suffered a fractured fibula while being attacked by Mark Henry after the WWE SmackDown television show main event. And for those interesting or interested, uh, there were some uh, reports uh, from other sites that this could be storyline and it could be actual injury. I'm going with the actual injury. Because of uh, WWE did state it themselves. Dark match of the evening with what you've all been waiting for. The results of Superstars and Raw. And here you go. Bo Rotunda defeated Primo Cologne. Fairly solid action. Not much crowd participation though. Started out pretty good and was alright. But didn't last very long. Rotunda ended up winning with a springboard bulldog from the top term, from the turnbuckle. And two matches that, uh, that were 
announced uh, that I, I announced earlier David Otunga and my, Michael McGillicuddy defeated Santino Morella and Chris Masters. New entrance music for Nexus and Santino chants early on. Back good back and forth. Santino was isolated for a while. Then got a hot tag to Masters, who was nailed from behind by Mike for the Nexus to win. Match number two, Alex Wright who defeated Jack Swagger. On Superstars, fair heat for Swagger, big pop for A-Rye. Swagger with a waist lock, uh, a waist, yeah, waist lock takedown early on, followed by stiff slaps to the back of, Ry of Riley's head. Riley came back with a uh, flurry of offense. Swagger regained control and threw Riley into the barricade. I believe they'll be take, uh, probably went for a uh, commercial break at this time and come right back from their commercial, I believe, because uh, during during the break, I guess, uh, during their taping, that uh, Swagger had control for a few minutes. Riley came back and nailed the Impaler DDT for his for the three count. Speaking of a Rye, he's looking uh, on Facebook for a name from the fans. To name this move, he wants to call himself. I can't re uh, can't remember, even though I talked to him earlier tonight on his Facebook account. Because uh, what he announced uh, his his match over the weekend, I was thinking it was a dark match uh, on tonight. Well, he he answered my question and said it was uh, over the weekend at a house show. Well, and now what you've all been waiting for. Raw opens up with a WWE title sitting on a podium. Justin Roberts begins his in intros as we get ready to crown a new champion. Spoiler is, we had two new champions announced tonight. And a third returned. Title match, Rey Mysterio versus The Miz opened up the show. Rey Mysterio's music hits. Out he came to a nice reaction to kick off Raw. Michael Cole welcomes us to the Hampton Coliseum in Hampton, Virginia. As Rey makes his way to the ring. Out next comes the Miz, gets a mixed reaction from the crowd. We see the entire Raw roster watching backstage as we do formal ring introductions. The bell rings and they lock up. Going right into the corner, they break They break and lock back up with Miz applying a headlock. Miz knocks right down with a shoulder for yet a one count. Miz goes right back after another pin attempt. Ray fights back with kicks and a right hand. Ray kicks Miz in the mouth and takes him down with her Karana. Ray continues, but Miz catches him in the corner and power bombs him face first in, into the turnbuckle. Miz turns things around and, and now splashes Ray into the corner for a two count. Miz starts stomping and dropping knees into Ray's back now. Ray fights off of a headlock, but Miz drops him with her knee to the gut for a two count. Miz continues the offense and lays Ray out on the floor after a big drop kick. Miz works Ray over on the apron now, but misses a running knee. Ray fights back and throws Miz into still steps. As they go to commercial, back from break, and Miz covers for another pin attempt and another. Miz with a submission from the rear as, uh, as Ray fights out. Ray finally fights out and is able to ram Miz's shoulder first into the ring post. Ray hits a senton from the top and a crossbody for two. Miz rolls Ray up, but only rolls... Buddy rolls through. Miz ducks a kick and, and DDT's Ray for another two count. Miz misses a big, big running kick, but connects with a second, a second big boot for a two, which was actually a push down. More back and forth action. Miz counters the six one nine and hits a sit down slate shot. Power ball for a two count. Miz gets frustrated now and goes for the skull crusher finale. Well, Ray fought it, fought it off and ended up on, on top rope. Miz ties Ray upside down in the corner and hits him with a big, big knee to the ribs. Ray counters and Miz goes down. Ray botches a hurricane runner, but Miz falls in place for the 619 anyways. Ray hits the 619 and they splash from the top for the pin, the win, and the WWE title. In a normal Ray Mysterio match, Ray normally goes a lot faster. In both of his matches tonight, that you will that you will hear this report, he actually has to slow his action down. So when he run, when he was running, it actually looked like a uh, walking on a treadmill to me. So right at the present time, Rey Mysterio is your current heavyweight champion. At what a buck 
70, maybe? After the match, uh, some of the Raw superstars are shown backstage cheering Ray on. They uh, celebrate with the WWE title until May, uh, Miz lays them down from behind. While still in the ring, well, Alberto Del Rio's music hits, and out he comes. Does he catch in? He attempts to. Del Rio runs in and out to the table and wants to catch in his money in the bank briefcase. But as Ray is getting up and leaps out from the ring and takes Del Rio down with a body splash, and Del Rio runs off without catching his title shot in because he grabs the case and says, no, he, don't, he didn't want to catch it in. Well, Cole Heights and Triple H will give his state of the WWE address tonight. Back to commercial they go. Back from break and we see replays of Rey Mysterio winning the WWE title. And now Rey is shown walking through the backstage and being applauded by the Raw superstars and divas in the back. The entire Raw roster, I guess, and SmackDown. Because it looked like there was like 40, 50 guys back there. They give him a champagne bath when John Cena walks up. Cena shakes Ray's hand and, and congratulates him. I guess whenever I blinked, I guess I missed the whole the whole segment. <clears throat> Josh Matthews walked up to the to interview Ray about his first WWE title win. Ray tells his kids he's coming home with the gold, and the cha champagne bath resumes. Cole and Lawler lead us into a video showing where Triple H informed Vince McMahon last week that he was being Relieved of his duties. Too bad he wasn't in future endeavors last week. Uh, back from break and we see a replay of Dolph Ziggler winning the United States title back at Capital Punishment. And up next, uh, Evan Bourne versus Dolph Ziggler is up next. You go to the ring and out comes the United States champion with Vicky Guerrero. Uh, uh, Dolph is debuting a new theme song this week. Out next comes his opponent, Evan Bourne. Bell rings and they go right at it. Dolph takes Bourne down first, runs the ropes, and Bourne drop kicks him. Dolph rolls out to the floor, but Bourne follows. Bourne brings him back in the ring and, and kicks Dolph Ziggler, but Bourne misses an insecurity, and Dolph leg drops him face first into the mat for a two count. Dolph works Bourne over in the corner now. Dolph takes Bourne to the mat with a headlock. Bourne blocks a suplex with a knee to the head. Dolph misses a splash in the corner. And Bourne comes back with kicks. Bourne with drop kicks and a clothesline. Bourne runs into an elbow in the corner, but takes Bourne down hard for a two count. Bourne gets up high for airborne, but Ziggler rolls out of the way and, and connects. Dolph applies a sleeper hold, and <coughs> Bourne, um, takes Bourne to the mat, and referee calls for the bell. After the match, Ziggler takes the mic and yells, follow that. Dolph leaves, uh, leaves with Vicky and dares anyone in the back to follow that. I thought he was talking about on Twitter. Follow me. Follow that. Still to come tonight. And they advertise the Alberto Del Rio versus Kofi Kingston. And they go back to commercial. Back from the break and the Bella Twins are arguing with Eve Torres backstage. Keystone is in between them. You know, the Keystone beer guy. The smooth. The guy that's always smooth. Well, anyways, uh, he's walking up and asks him what's going on. Eve is tired of the Bellas cheating. Keith has Eve hold his beers as, as he walks over with, with Nikki. <coughs> and, and starts drawing like he's writing his phone number on her arm. Well, they fast forward. Uh, is it with a wait? Uh, probably filmed earlier, earlier in the day. And he drew a whole tattoo on her arm, so now you now you know, now you can tell who's who. Keith uses uh, uses one marker, but somehow the whole arm is covered all of a sudden with different colors. Eve tells Keith he is so smooth, and, and he hurries off. WWE flash a disclaimer at the bottom of the screen, like this is your infomercial for Keystone beer, and it was saying Keystone was used with permission from. The beer company. Okay. Eve Torres and Kelly Kelly versus Marisa Molina. We go to the ring and out comes Diva Champion Kelly Kelly with her partner Eve. Marisa Molina are follow up waiting in the ring. Eve and Marie stars things off. 
Uh, uh, they were doing a role reversal in this. Maurice was actually uh, imitating Kelly Kelly during the match, and Kelly Kelly imitated Maurice doing her little hair thing that she normally does when she enters the ring. <clears throat> All right, well, back back to it. Eve, take, uh, Eve takes her down and shakes her rear in Maurice's face. Uh, like like I said, uh, that's Kelly Kelly's move with a stink face. Eve hits a moonsault and takes Maurice to the corner for more offense. Melina distracts her, allowing Maurice to take to take the attack from behind and get a two count. Maurice takes Eve to the corner and <clears throat> rubs her re rear in Eve's face. Again, <clears throat> Melina comes in now and slams Eve's face into the mat. Eve fights back with right hands and kicks Melina in the face. Kelly comes in and hits a fast press and a neck breaker. Kelly spanks Maurice's ass and sends her off the apron. Kelly covers, but the pin is broken. Eve makes a save and takes Maurice back to the floor. Melina and Kelly go at it now. Hmm. Melina and Kelly go at it now. Uh, Kelly hits her leg, drop, finisher, the famouser for the pin and the win. So Eve, Eve Torres and Kelly Kelly win the match. And they show uh, Triple H backstage speaking with our truth They're just speaking back and forth. You can't hear a word they're saying. Uh, Michael Cole it's, uh, announces that Triple H will reveal a blockbuster WWE return up next. And back to commercial. Not much of a blockbuster because of the fact that JR makes his return. And also, somebody else makes his return as <coughs> that will be announced uh, in just a few minutes. Well, back for commercial, Triple H is out to his normal theme music. He's wearing a suit and is announced as the Chief Operating Officer. Cole explains that Triple H is now in charge of everything and will be at this Friday SmackDown. Triple, Triple H and there's a ring and wants to get one thing off his chest from a personal and business standpoint. He says that the reason WWE is a global success, that is, is the reason people are watching tonight worldwide is due to one man's vision, one man's pure genius, and that's Trip. <clears throat> well, Triple H from the bottom of his heart, thanks Vince. A small thank you Vince chant lasts for about 15-20 seconds. And then you just hear the crowd screaming. Well, JR uh, come, uh, shakes Triple H's hand and he goes to the ringside for commentary. Cole won't shake his hand. Cole stands up on the announcer's table and addresses Triple H, putting down JR. Cole says he has done whatever WWE wants him to do, but he refuses to sit, sit to work with Ross. Cole starts berating Ross, bringing up his restaurants going down. Cole says Ross spent so many years kissing this man's ass, now he's going to kiss Triple H's ass. This goes on until Triple H informs Cole that he has a night off from commentary. Cole has until Friday to decide if he wants the job or not. Uh, he also made a comment uh, that, uh, well, Cole said it, uh, he's not... Well, but I'll go back to what Triple H was saying. Triple H was saying that he could not fire uh, Michael Cole because he had a uh, stipulation in his contract that he would make more money sitting on his ass at home rather than being on TV. It's called uh, like, like Friends Benefits or whatever. Uh, well, so he made uh, an option for Michael Cole. Michael Cole doesn't want to do it. Well, do his job well. Triple H said, well, that's kind of like a brief breach of contract, so you can be fired. <clears throat> so he has until Friday to make up his mind. Okay, so Cole sits down and wants to work now. Triple H tells him no because he has a match tonight. He's relieved of his duties for, for commentating. And this match is up next. Cole leaves as our truth comes out. He says Triple H has been a part of the conspiracy for a long time. 
but likes what he sees. The new regime. Truth and Triple H go back and forth on the mic, talking talking to their invisible characters. You know how the uh, truth is? Uh, uh, like, little Jimmy? Big Jimmy? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. Well, Triple H did the same thing. Mocking him, in a way. Okay, Triple H starts, things, uh, starts talking to the invisible people that Truth is always talking to. Truth calls Triple H crazy for talking to, to the same people that, that don't exist. Truth says Triple H might be the game, but he's not playing. Well, well Truth drops, drops the mic and leaves the ring. Uh, Triple H says he resigned someone else. Big and that person wants a piece of our truth. And then John Morrison's music Hits as our our truth is up on the uh I'd say he was he's up on the stage now and Morrison takes truth down and uh it brings that throws him into the ring. Morrison spears truth and hits the starship pain. <clears throat> then they uh cut off that segment. Still come tonight, Michael Cole versus mystery opponent and John Cena versus Rey Mysterio for the world title. And yes, that's your Main event, because that's what was announced uh, during uh, Triple H's uh, little statement earlier. That John Cena wanted his rematch, and he will get it tonight. And your matchup next, Michael Cole versus your mystery opponent, his mystery opponent, Zack Ryder, and wins in about a minute. Bathroom from, from commercial break, and it's Triple H music is hit because of the, the uh, stipulation that uh, Michael Cole said he didn't have any wrestling gear to wrestle in, but Triple H said he had some gear that he can borrow. So uh, instead of his normal college wrestling gear that he wears, or with a head gear on, or what have you, he's wearing Triple H's gear, and he even comes out to Triple H's character with a water bottle, and what have you. It's a it's an awful segment there. Impersonating Triple H. <coughs> and he comes in with a, with a water bottle of coal, slowly climbs up the apron and tries to spit water like Triple H. Out next comes Cole's opponent, Zack Ryder. Ryder kicks Cole down and calls for the Rough Rider. Ryder nails it. Hits pins Cole for the squash win. And guess what, Michael Cole? You are not undefeated anymore. Winner the match, Zack Ryder. Then they plug tonight. Still to come. John Cena versus Rey Mysterio for the WWE title. Up next was Kofi Kingston and Alberto Del Rio. After this commercial. Back from the break, and Ricardo Rodriguez is introduced, is introduced by uh, to begin his introduction of Alberto Del Rio. Coming in, driving a Rolls Royce, and hops out, sporting his money in the bank briefcase. Then out next comes Kofi Kingston. Bell rings in Del Rio. Takes Kofi down for a quick two. More offense, Del Rio running until Kofi rolls him up for a two. Kofi sends Del Rio out to the floor. Del Rio runs up the ramp a bit to regroup as Raw goes to commercial. Back from the break, Del Rio has Kofi down, working on his arm. During the break, Del Rio kicked Kofi out in the head, knocking him off the top rope. Kofi f fights back now with forearms, and, but Del Rio kicks him again. Del Rio beats Kofi down in the corner until referee backs him off. Del Rio charges, but Kofi moves and hits, hits the ring post. Kofi springboards in, takes Del Rio down for a two count. Kofi with chops and a drop kick, then a big forearm. Kofi hits the boom drop and calls for the trouble of paradise. Del Rio ducks and hits the arm bar takedown for a two count. <clears throat> Kofi comes back and almost gets a three count, but Del Rio grabs the ropes. They go at it until Del Rio applies the cross arm bar finisher. Kofi tapped out. And they hype uh, Cena versus Rey Mysterio again as they go to commercial. Back from the break, and Josh Matthews walks up to the Miz backstage, getting dressed up, dressed in the locker room in his casual gear. Miz isn't happy that John Cena is getting a title shot tonight. Miz says things have gone from bad to worse now that Triple H is in charge. Miz says now the face of WWE is a, is a man with no face. Rey Mysterio. 
Miz says that this is all a mistake, a huge mistake. And they basically uh, cut to the match, and they go to the go to the ring. Out first comes WWE Champion Rey Mysterio, current champion. Back from the break, and out comes John Cena. Bell rings, and they go at it easy. Cena gets the first pin attempt. Ray counters and covers covers Cena for two. Ray with a headlock now. More back and forth act, action until Cena back suplexes Ray for two count. Ray fights back with kicks and hits a bulldog for a close two. Cena charges, but Ray moves. Ray springboards the, to the floor and lands on Cena. Ray kicks Cena to the floor on the floor and tries to throw him into the steps. Cena counters. Ray jumps up, jumps up on them. And comes back down, but but Cena drops him with, with a clothesline. Cena brings him back into the ring for a two count. Cena gra grounds Ray to the mat now. Ray fights out of Cena's hole and DDTs him for a two count. Ray goes for an insecurity, but Cena ducked. Cena goes for STF, but Ray gets the ropes. Ray corkscrews back in, back into the ring on Cena for a two count. Ray went for a six one nine, but Cena catches his legs. Slams him to the mat for another pin attempt. Cena hit a shoulder block, but Ray blocked the, the second one with a drop kick out of midair. They counter each other, and Cena finally slams Ray to the mat. Cena hits a five knuckle shuffle and goes for an attitude adjustment. Ray fights out and flies, but lands on Cena's arms. Ray counters and hits a pair of drop kicks for a two. Ray goes on top, hits a sun time for a two. Ray, Ray ends up applying SCF on Cena. Cena finally powers out of his own hold. Cena goes for attitude adjustment again, but his knees goes out, and they both go down. Ray connects with a 619, <clears throat> and Ray goes up top. But uh, Ray goes for the big splash, but Cena puts his knees up. Ray comes back in the corner and goes for her Rana, but Cena power bombs him across the ring. Cena goes for the Top rope now and hits a leg drop, but but only gets a two count. Cena goes for AA again. Ray fights out and kick, kicks him into the ropes. Ray goes for a 619, but Cena catches him again. Hits the AA for the, for the pin, the win, and the title. So your second WWE Championship momentarily. As Raw actually uh, is going off, well, after the match, John Cena's music hits. He'll throw up to his feet. Cena celebrates with the WWE title. And then all of a sudden, somebody else's music hits. Well, it's nobody's music. Multiple personality hits. And guess what? A returning CM Punk. It apparently is his old theme song. And out comes the former WWE champion with his WWE title. as your third WWE champion tonight. Punk appears on the stage with a belt around his waist and the music plays and the crowd pops for them both. Punk is wearing his belt in the world t-shirt and has a new entrance video. Punk makes his way down to the ring and in Cena's face. Cena raises his WWE title and the crowd pops. Well, Punk raises his WWE title and the crowd pops. All this while multiple personality is still being played Punk and Cena have had words. Well, they don't say it, say it to the fans or on a microphone. And Raw goes off the air with both holding their WWE titles up in the air. It's like... And there you go. And that ends your Raw results. Stay tuned for tomorrow night's. What went on after all?